Oldham Athletic nil, Barnet two. Dean, two wins in a week. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, look, it's a great second half performance. I spoke about maturity during the day, and I want to spoke to you after winning at Altrincham. And we showed that again today. Um, first half, they got down the sides, as a couple, which they changed their system. They've been playing three at the back. And we tried to counter that by playing three at the back. And, uh, and Sod's Law, they go play four at the back. And then obviously, then we changed it in game. So that, that's hard to do. You know, we've got two systems we play, sometimes three systems we play. It's hard to do. And our, our players have got to take a lot of credit for that. I was a little bit critical of the lads at half time because I felt we could have done better with the ball. We didn't penetrate enough, not enough oomph about our game. And second half, I thought everything I asked the question at half time of, the, the lads produced. You mentioned uh, the first half was quite even. What did you say to them at half time to get them working so well the second? I just felt we could run forward better. I felt if our two midfielders passed it to each other, they could supply the front four. Um, obviously, we changed sort of to a 4 3 3 system. And I thought Idris was going to be a big player for us. And in the end, I was proving right on that, on that occasion. And then Ryan was booked, so I, wanted, I took him out. And then we put Keane out there. And Keane made some, you know, Lampard like runs into the box. And um, realistically, I thought we could have won by more, to be totally honest with you. Um, but now, look, the biggest thing for us is we're maturing as a team. This is a very new team. This team's only been put together in the summer. Um, it's really new. Um, we've got great attitude. I said to you before, the players keep going to the line. But I thought Danny Collins and Jerome Akima today absolutely outstanding. Kanu scored an excellent goal in that second half down the right hand side. What are your thoughts on that goal? Yeah, he's got ability. It's, and we spoke when, when we were signing in the summer. And we Obviously Efron moved to Peter and Idris was part of the deal coming to us. Um, you know, I spoke to him about getting his numbers right. He's played a lot of games. He's only 22, Idris. He's played a lot of games, a lot of senior games. But his numbers aren't right with the, with the goals. I think that's his fifth, fifth goal of the season now. So he's starting to get that right. And uh, he's got, he's got, listen, he can play much higher, Idris. Uh, I think when Peter would have won, won League One, I think he just played 25 games that year. So we're lucky to have him. It's been a good signing by us. Good support from the chairman on that one, um, which is important. We're putting a lot of uh, stringing a lot of away wins together at the minute. How important is it to know that we can come to these places on the road and pick up points? It's no easy games, you know. Uh, the game was sort of tight first half, like I say, till we got grips with second half, proper got grips with second half. Um, and look, their, their confidence is low at the minute. You can smell it around the place, really. That's what we did speak about at half time. You can see that we haven't got a lot of wins of late. So there's a lot of players within their group as well. So um, we've got a tight knit group. Um, and sometimes you can have too many players, so we just felt that we could smell it around the place. The first goal was massive, and we managed to get it. But on away wins, look, this can take any win. It's hard to win in this division. You know, I've got to say that all the time. It's, uh, I think, it's a lot, apart from the championship, it's the most challenging division. A few players went down in the second half. Is everyone? Have you had managed to speak to them in the dressing room yet to see how they're all feeling? Nah, look, we're in tomorrow. Uh, we've got a cup replay on Monday night, so it's a quick turnaround, and we'll focus on that. Um, that's how this business is. You can't rest on your laurels. Um, so we'll be in tomorrow morning, uh, nice, bright and early. Um, some of the lads, to be fair to them, are going to stay in the hotel as well tonight. Not all the group, some of the local lads are going to go home. So um, some of the lads have been further afield and stay in the hotel. Um, and yeah, for us, um, we just got to move on to the next game because it's a relentless division. And finally, 182 of our supporters came up today, chanting Dino at the end. Have you got a message for them? Unbelievable support. Um, you know. There's been a lot of dark days at our football club over the last two or three years, and that's for them really. You know, it, 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 listen. All we say, we, uh, my job as the manager and the players' job is to give our supporters something to sing about, and they've bought into everything I've wanted from them. I spoke about togetherness. Without togetherness, you cannot do anything in football, um, and we've got it here. We've got it in abundance, but it's been created. They don't just happen overnight. It's took a little bit of time, um, so I'm absolutely delighted by them. We see a few in Maxi in the services, and new Paul Pagan services are there. It looked like they had a good morning. Yeah, that was quite early, to be fair. So, yeah, delighted for them. And uh, that is for them. That's that victory today is dedicated to them. Dean, thank you for your time.